Hey Virgo, welcome back. Let's get into your reading. Please smash that like and subscribe button if you're new. All right, Virgo, let's see what the messages are showing up here for you. You have paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, ascending, and you have lightning, sudden change. Okay, let's take a look and see what messages, what's going on. So you have paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. That's a good sign, feeling joyful, happy, content. You have expansion again, transcending obstacles, learning a new phase, and also some shocking news coming in here. Uh, let's take a look here and see what this surprise is. What is the surprise showing up here for Virgo? Hmm. Ooh, somebody is silently pushing back. You are silently pushing back. Why is this a shock? Oh, you're doing something. Oh, yeah, Virgo, looks like you are, you're not saying anything. You're just being, you're ghost. I don't know if you're ghosting. You're disappearing. Something's over. You're focusing on you, okay? That looks like something you would be doing, and I feel like a lot of you have been doing that, focusing on your single life, your, your riches, your wealth, money in the bank, um, surrendering, just kind of pushing away on energy that doesn't serve you, it looks like. But you're ascending for sure out of some dark crevice <laughs> with the moon. Let me see here. Oh, yeah, look at you ascending and opening up. Hmm. You're following the light. You're being lifted maybe by an alien. I don't know, it's a UFO. I don't know what's going on. But you are, <clears throat> you're transcending while you are ascending. You're coming out of a very dark place in this month here. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, there's all these new beginnings. There's growth headed for you and it's coming fast. Some positive news. Good news is coming towards you this month. Wow, it's going to make you very successful or it's going to put you uh, up on your high horse, that's for sure. Um, because of this ascension, um, you're going to get some good news that's going to lift you out of something, perhaps that you've been in, lift you up and out from um, perhaps something that had you down and out. Now you're going to get lifted up and out. Um, recognition progress success coming to you definitely change and there's a new phase happening a lot of this has to do with you just kind of it's like a bolt of lightning do you know what i mean like you know how when lightning strikes like it's just so random when lightning strikes you never know where it's gonna hit right so this random bolt of lightning not literally is going to hit you right i'm just saying it's figuratively uh, this shocking news this um positive news though um and it feels mostly like you've been fighting so hard for something you've been defending off or fending off here some very negative energy you've been working so hard keeping to yourself you're definitely still doing that but there's like a surprise and i feel like um something to do with paradise here okay something to do with paradise happiness feeling like you're like finally it feels like a finale like something you've been waiting for virgo is finally going to happen what have you been waiting to happen what's like your wildest dream look there you go it's just such a shock. It's a double shock tower moment, double lightning. This is a once in a lifetime thing. Absolutely. Oh, you're going to be lit. It's lit, Virgo. It's lit. Uh, you're going to get an opportunity for some kind of training or school or teaching for some of you. It might be something that you've wanted. Um, hmm. Could have a connection to a water sign for some of you, um, a situation, maybe a situation ship um, or a relationship of some sort, job or something connected to um,
it's like a positive thing, but I feel like it's to do with somebody or some people or a situation that was like feeling where someone felt very trapped. Okay. Felt very trapped. was keeping it hidden. Yeah. There's massive change coming here, Virgo. Look, big, gigantic new beginning happening here. Yeah. So what is this about? What can you tell Virgo? Like what specifically does this have to do with? I'm not going to take that card. What does this specifically? Oh, okay. So a connection that you have with someone, major shift happening with a, a friend or um, anybody, someone that you, you make a connection with someone, you might be making a connection with someone like a new love connection um, or a recommitment to love, but there's something brand new starting here. Very healing energy could have something to do with medicine as well. A very healing healing connection you're coming out of a dark place for sure and this lightning bolt is just gonna just shift everything you know this it's like hard to believe I almost feel your energy like I can't like is this real life like pinching yourself you can't believe you make some kind of connection with someone going forward which is gonna change everything like-minded you know this is mutuals so this is two people are on the same page are you meeting somebody new possibly or someone that you're just like some of you never thought that you would make a connection like this with with anybody but you do this is this is lovely this is so great this feels very powerful okay you have the death card so the first thing we had was a, the water signs so it could be with a cancer scorpio pisces oh this is really like transforming bossing up or connecting with someone who's very much in their emperor energy power like a power couple right clarity comes no more stressing at night clarity comes virgo clear communication <laughs> yeah that was yesterday y'all know i shuffled these cards clear communication could be a water sign and an earth sign or an air sign as well uh, or some you have a conversation with someone you somebody might be introducing you to someone another person in june going into july okay some of you are reconnecting with a past person yep crush energy someone's really like souped up and super excited about connecting with you yeah has a crush lots of communication messages um you might be getting a job offer too from someone from your past there is money coming in here too. I just see some of you are going to get 10 grand, $10,000 or whatever your currency is, wherever you are, 10K. Okay. Yes. Oh, you're going to be like, is this real? I got to bite this. I got to pinch it. Is this real? Okay. Yes. Some of you are getting a bonus. You're getting that check. Maybe you do some work or something with children. There is some kind of connection to that. Um, or you get that job offer, you get a new job, or your old job is like, hey, we want you back. A lot of people are like, why is it always about the past? Well, it's not always about love past situations. It could be about job past situations, you know? Um, some of you coming out of retirement and deciding to go back to work. Yes, big money coming in. Um, you might be reconnecting with someone from your past as well, where they, there's like these amazing ideas or something to do with games or sports um, and making money. Amazing ideas. Uh, lots of communication about this, um, receiving some kind of funds or uh, money to do a startup, some kind of startup as well. Okay, so you got the Queen of Wands here, Fire Energy, and the King of Cups. Okay, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, um, hmm, Libra, Scorp or Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Uh, let's see. So it's obviously you and another person. You could be in the energy of the King of Cups or you could be in the energy of the Queen of Fire. But there is um, some kind of offer that's coming in. Um, I'm feeling like somebody's saying paying for a massage. Somebody's paying for a massage or is getting paid to give one. <laughs> I hope it's not your lover. They're going to pay you. Okay, maybe take you out to dinner. Um, something along those lines as well. There's a trip. There's some traveling. Um, could be going on a, a rest and relaxation um, a trip together or connecting with each other. Um, yes, in between now and July, right? Um, 
there's definitely a connection being made. Some of you are having um, somebody come in to visit um, during a holiday. Uh, I know here in the U.S. we've got the 4th of July, which is usually just one day, but might be a weekend. The 4th of July is going to be on a Thursday, so some of you got a weekend thing going on here, which is going to be pretty awesome. Little R&R, &R, some family or friends coming in, or a lover, or vice versa. All right, some of you are blocking and cutting somebody off. Somebody apologizes to you and you're like, nope, don't wanna hear it. Somebody apologizes to you and it's like cut off. Or you try to apologize to someone and you find out you're blocked or they've cut you off. Yeah, look, so there's, you can reverse the roles, but what I feel like is there, there's there's definitely a blocking and a, and a shutting down. Um, in regards to either an apology or an I'm sorry or an argument, um, a heartbreak or some kind of discord or uh, separation of some sort, either coming to you or you sending it. Okay, the Ace of Swords. Okay, there will be, so there will be an opportunity to overcome whatever problems there are here. Somebody will um, communicate and there will be an opportunity to... Um, sort things out, overcome some obstacles, some problems, sort things out, make everything better, make a relationship or the con a connection with someone that you have a falling out with even stronger. So it's like maybe there's just an argument. It could be very light. It may not be serious. It could be somewhat serious. It really just depends. It could be with a Gemini, but it could be very serious or a Leo. And it's kind of like a kiss and make up kind of thing. Somebody tells the truth about something to you and it actually strengthens the bond. It could be connected to um, a relationship, a family, something along those lines. Siblings, sisters, could be with sisters, some of you. Reuniting with your sisters or some females. Okay, you also have the magician. Oh, manifesting yourself out of poverty, that's for sure. Yeah, you got something in the works. Being very creative, Virgo. You got something very creative going on here. In this time period now through July and it's only a matter of time bring everything into balance because I feel like you're gonna manifest yourself out of some kind of financial struggle here this is gonna happen yep and you got a king of wands who's connecting with you very supportive it could be a Sag Sagittarius um, but Leo Aries very supportive of you someone who's watching who's um, I don't want to say waiting, but they're very action oriented in their ideas and their thoughts and they know how to do things and get things done. You could be acting, that could be you coming across in that energy, but there's some kind of something you're manifesting. There's something creative that you're focused on that you're going to just kind of put it all out there. Um, and this feels mostly like I got to figure out what I'm going to do. I need to make more money. And so it's some type of creative endeavor. Okay. That you do have, oh, it could have something to do with the devil energy. Something could be very sexual. It could be very like something to do with addictions or obsessions or lust or something like that. Okay, I don't, I don't know exactly what it could be, but it involves that in some way. Okay, maybe some BDSM. I don't know what the hell is going on. Yeah, look, <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> what? I don't know what's going on. Okay. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> Good and evil. That's for sure. Hmm. Are, what are you going to be doing, Virgo? What are, you, what are you cooking up here? You're cooking something up. I don't know what you're doing, but whatever it is, uh, you're going to manifest this. You're going to have a lot of support around you, and you're going to get out of some kind of financial struggle that you might feel like you're in. Okay, consistency and hard work in a relationship and a lot of communication and remaining curious about somebody is what's going to keep a relationship stable and make something healthy. Okay, um, somebody's also watching you while they're working, watching you while they're working and um, kind of spying a little bit. Um, this person, it's your twin, it's an 11 11 relationship. This person watching you while you're working or watching you while they're working whatever they're keeping an eye on you um okay 
Pisces, perhaps. Um, this person is kind of like, you can't really see them. They're watching somehow, some way. Uh, you can't really see them, Virgo. You wouldn't know about it. That's what I'm, that's what I'm picking up. Like they can, they're figuring stuff out, but they're watching you from, how can I explain this? You know, when you're hanging from the monkey bars when you're a kid and the world's upside down, it's kind of hard to make out everything that's going on, but you kind of feel like, you know, what's going on, right? That's how this person's watching you. Like they're, what they can't see exactly clearly. Maybe they're looking through their mind's eye at you. They're intuiting something, watching you with like an intuitive vibe, feeling some vibes. I did say Pisces. So that's very much what a Pisces would do. Um, Pisces don't really see things. They feel things. They, they, they have like sonar, you know, they, they pick up energy through vibration, not through common sense. Not that they don't have common sense, but not really through logical thinking. They generally like, they're just naturally logical, but they, they pick up things through vibration, some kind of language that our signs don't typically understand or any other sign, unless you're a water sign, water signs are all vibrational, um, emotionally vibrational. Okay. I had, just so you know, not that long ago, a very intensely strong cup of coffee. Can you tell? Anyway, um, somebody's freeing themselves from making, a, uh, weighing some options or making some kind of decision. Yeah, somebody, could be an Aquarius, but somebody here, you or another person, um, has been trying to make a decision, weighing things out. So many choices, so many options. They're going to take a leap of faith and a risk. It has something to do with maybe having a child or becoming, um, or either something to do with the reproductive system. Okay. Um, could be anything, anything to do with the, it's a, it's a feminine energy. So anything to do with the ovaries or, um, or estrogen, okay? Weighing the options and making a really big decision here. Taking a leap of faith, taking a risk, I feel, okay? Anything else for Virgo? I've pretty much gone through this entire deck. Oh, okay. Ace of Cups. Someone at a long distance or at a distance from you. Could be an earth sign. Um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn is... Uh, waiting for you to return so you guys can get started on this love thing. That's what I'm hearing. Waiting for a return. Now, don't give me any shit. Like, people that put, don't post in my comments, why does it always have to be the past? Like, stop, because I'm just going to delete you. This is a card about return. And if you, if, if you don't understand what the cards mean, then you need to click off, okay? Don't test me with the cards, okay? This is a card about return. Someone is waiting for a return so you guys can have a new start. Okay. Yes. Yes. I am going to go off on my channel. I know it's tacky, but it's petty, but like it is what it is. Listen. So yeah, new love start. Somebody is going to propose to you. They're waiting for you to return. I don't know what that means. I don't know if you know who this is. Um, as far as like return, what does that mean? Are you guys separated? Is there are in some kind of separation, some kind of distance for sure? Cross the water, perhaps. Um, are they going to propose to you and they want to see what your response is going to be if you haven't responded yet? Um, that could be playing out throughout this time period, the next 30 days. But there is definitely a love offer coming in from someone, either coming from an earth sign or um, coming from you to somebody. Okay, so look at this. My gosh, so much thinking, so much uh, remorse and regret, so much like, oh, I'm at a crossroads. What am I going to do? I don't know what to do. Should I take the opportunity or not? Oh, Jesus, when the opportunity comes, yes, you take it. Yes, you take it. Yes, you take it. When an oppor when opportunity knocks, don't... If you sit and, and sit in a, a position of grief and think it too much about what should, him and on, whether you should or you shouldn't, this opportunity is going to be gone. Don't miss it. Don't stand there like, oh, I don't know if I should go left or go right. No, the opportunity is being given to you. You take it. And there is, a, there is an opportunity coming to you. Right? And it looks like it has to do with money. Maybe it involves something that's going to cause you to be a little bit out of your comfort zone, which is why you're going to just think about it a lot. But jump on it do it okay 
We're done with the deck. That's what I'm hearing. Jump on this opportunity. All right, you've got messages of love coming in. Let's see what the messages are here. Messages of love for Virgo. All right, trust. Safe to trust in this situation, Virgo. You also have a twin flame showing up in this time period. All right, you also have a spiritual lesson here that needs to be learned as well as patience. That's your spiritual le lesson. Ask for patience while you're driving down the road. God's going to give you a traffic jam. If you're asking for patience, don't become impatient when you get in front of a traffic jam or you get caught up. That's You have to put it into practice is what I'm saying. Patience requires practice to have and to have something, you must be able to hold something. And to hold something, you must be able to work with it. Okay. Chemistry, the attraction you feel with somebody is very healing. It's very mutual, very mutual. And there's also an awakening to um, a, a chemistry type of a relationship that's very healing. Some of you do have a past life love connection showing up as well in this month. So if you haven't been talking to your past life person... They're going to be showing up here. Um, some of you, that's a soulmate. I think we already touched on that, that you had a soulmate showing up here. Let's take a look at the Chinese signs and see. Who's your person, Virgo? You and your person's Chinese sign. Who's Virgo's person? Okay, year of the rabbit. Year of the dragon. Year of the goat. Year of the tiger. Year of the rooster. Year of the horse. You're the monkey, and you're the ox. I know some of you are like, they're all my person. <laughs> well, they're not all your person, Virgo, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, let's get a couple of cosmic insights. Let's see what else does Virgo need to know during this time period. What else does Virgo need to know? Oh, yes. If you see a, la a ladybug, you're going to be lucky in love. Next time you see a ladybug after listening to this, that's your sign. Lucky in love. All right. All right. There's a third party. Someone's trying to interfere, come into the middle, or sabotage a relationship. It could be somebody's kid. It could be somebody who's after your person or after you. Um, it could be a friend, a jealous friend. There's, there's somebody. Someone's in the middle here trying to sabotage something, and this is not... For you to be like oh i didn't realize let me look and see who i can f place the blame on no 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 no. this is for those of you who are like yeah i know i'm aware and this is just confirmation for those who already know that this is occurring this is confirmation of that this is not you know you and your partner are doing great and i'm saying hey by the way did you know so and so is hitting on your partner at work that's not this message. This is for those of you who are like, oh, I already know all about this. Yeah. Thank you for confirming it. That's all. Okay. That's all this is. Um, there's a love spell. You've been bewitched. Ooh. Now, to me, this just feels, I mean, yeah, okay. Maybe somebody's put a love spell on someone or on you. I don't really get into the spell stuff, but for some of you, that's just the perfume that you like and you're wearing it. Love spell smells delicious. I don't even know if it's like in anymore, but it smells so good. Also, you've got a fire sign who's going to be very significant this month. Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. And anything else that Virgo needs to know? Also an earth sign and a fire sign. That's a match. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Good match right there. I know some of you are like, nah, but I'm going to tell you in this reading, yes. All right. So we've got Virgo, Pisces, Gemini, and Sag. All right, we have the 21st. We have 49. We have 41, 70, and 68. September 10th, September 14th. Someone's 58. September 6th, 1979. 1985. Someone's 53. August 31st. August 29th. Someone's 34. 1978, someone's 62, or born in 62, could be either or. Um, July and August, very significant time period for you guys. Pay attention. You're going to be very lucky in July and August. Um, somebody's working on their yard, I just heard. Um, 
Somebody's working on their yard, or will be. August, oh, they just said August 4th? Okay. I was going to say September 4th, but August 4th, they're also telling me. Someone's last name is Gray, G-R-A-Y, or whatever, Gray. Someone's name is Diane. Someone's working, working on a do-it-yourself project. Um, <clears throat> okay. Someone's in Europe, obviously. EU. I'm just hearing the EU. All right. Oh, my gosh. He's making so much noise today. He just must be excited. We have Jan, Jay, Jason, and John showing up here. All right. Let me see. Juan, W-A-N, or J-U-A-N, Juan. Um, Iris, okay, someone's a director. There's directing something. Um, somebody's in Rhode Island. Someone's a physician. I'm picking up um, uh, initials J H J H. Um, okay, so they're just saying uh, <laughs> yawn. Someone's are you yawning? Someone's tired. I'm, I guess as late as this reading is, somebody would be. Um, Oh my gosh, he is really, I don't know if you can hear him. I'm going to, after I get done this video, I'm going to edit and try to remove the background. Um, <laughs> sorry, he's just, I don't know what it is. I think sometimes when kids come back from a certain parent, they tend to change a little bit. Like they, they just, I don't know, every, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, um, Dawn, I just heard the name Dawn. Somebody's name is Dawn. Yeah, Euro, Euro's big. Um, somebody's a GI doctor. Just hearing a GI doctor. Okay. Let's get some charm. Okay. So you've got a palm tree being very significant with coconuts. That's very significant for you or another person in this time period. You also have fearless. The word for the, the next 30 days is fearless. Be fearless. Do things that you don't normally do, come out of your comfort zone and be fearless, Virgo, for the next 30 days. Work on fearlessness. And some of you are going to a bow tie event, black tie, bow tie, not sure, with a diamond. Um, all right, I'm gonna end it here because my grandson is just really loud, sorry. I just don't know if I'm gonna edit all that out. So I'll see you guys back here tomorrow for your weekend reading. Don't forget, if you wanna join my channel, $2.99 per month, go ahead and click join, be part of the HOV gang. And if you wanna get a text reading with me, just go to the link below the video. Click that, it'll take you to my booking site and you can book a text message reading for the next day. All right, you guys, bye.